hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'll be sharing with you guys a 4d mulatto whitening face soap for sensitive skin i came about this recipe after getting complaints and requests from people who have a sensitive face on how to make a mulatto soap for sensitive skin most of them complained of mulatto soaps they have used tends to be harsh on their faces and that it even ended up giving them some bones. This beautiful mulatto soap recipe is effective and mild and is also very easy to make with few ingredients. You can use it as a face mask if you want. Yes, you can leave it on your face for up to 10 to 20 minutes before washing it off. It is tested and trusted by me. I have used this recipe and also giving it out to people to get their reviews before sharing it here and they gave amazing reviews so this yummy mulatto soap for the face is more than a triple action soap it will whiten and glow your face it gives a milky natural fairness complexion yes so if you have a sensitive face and you're having issues with facial redness sunburns dark spots dull skin then watch this video to the end. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile. Hello, my beautiful people. How is everyone out there doing? I believe you are all okay. Well, welcome to If It's Beauty Corner. If today is your first time on this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Uh, and also click on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And uh, to my old subscribers, thank you for always coming back. Yeah, you guys are always appreciated. I appreciate you guys so much. So on today's video, we'll be I'll be dropping a recipe on how you can make this beautiful mulatto face soap. I keep getting requests from people uh, on how they can make a, a mulatto face soap, especially people uh, with sensitive skin. This particular recipe, I have shared it with like four people who have sensitive skin, especially on the face. So this beautiful soap here will not only help treat a bleached or sensitive skin, it will also whiten and glow their skin. This soap recipe is just very simple but effective. You will need like just four uh, ingredients to come up with this. And I tell you, you will love the result. Yeah, this soap is not harsh. It is mild. It will help clear some glow and whiten the skin flawlessly. This recipe is created mainly for face, but you can still use it for your body yes it is mainly a face soap but you can still use it as a face and body so I made this one for someone yeah the person will be using it separately on her face so and uh, the ingredients here will help calm um, irritated skin it will help calm red face yeah facial redness if you're experiencing facial redness and you still want to glow and shine and look beautiful yeah with this recipe you're good to go so for this soap i'll be dropping the recipe on how you can come about this mulatto soap so to make this glowing and whitening face soap for the face you'll be needing a bowl of course and uh, just make sure uh, your bowl and your working instruments are well clean make sure you use a rubbing alcohol to clean and disinfect the instruments you're using yes if you don't have a rubbing alcohol yeah you can add a little bleach to the water you'll be using to wash your uh, working instruments the goal there is just to avoid uh, germs and bacteria contaminating your products yes so the second thing you'll be needing is your grater. Yes, that's the second thing you'll be needing. Then for the main recipe, the number one soap you'll be using is uh, this soap. Black yeah. white atom whitening tomato soap. 
Yes, this soap has many beautiful ingredients in it. It's a lightening and brightening soap. Yeah, it's a tomato extra soap. It contains kojic acid, lutatone. Yes, this tomato soap has many anti-aging benefits to the skin. It helps to treat damaged skin. Yes, so this soap deeply cleanses, smooths the skin as well. And it also works for sensitive skin. Yeah, it also works for sensitive skin. It's a beautiful lightning soap. Before you buy, make sure you're getting the original. Yes, this is how it looks. It, al it always comes with a, a little bit of soap in it. Yes. So you'll be needing like one of these. The soap you'll be needing is the Atom White Egg Yolk Soap. Oh, where it is, it is far from me, but I'll be placing it on the screen. Yes. You'll be needing the Atom White Egg Yolk Soap. It's the same company that made this soap, that made the Atom White egg yolk this is the tomato extract why the one i'll be placing on the screen is the uh, egg yolk extract yes this uh, atom white egg yolk soap is a yolk extract soap yes it is manufactured with the same people that did this they are from the same company and it is a thailand product yes thailand people are experts in manufacturing beautiful skin whitening products their products are not usually harsh yes so this soap this uh, egg yolk soap contains abutin kojic acid and it also contains glutathione it also has vitamin b3 and vitamin c and vitamin e yes it also contains a tranazamic acid tranazamic acid these ingredients i mentioned that are in this soap is safe and mild yes they are very safe and mild to be used on the face not only that they treat sunburns and redness and at the same time lighten and treat bleached skin so you'll be grating the, these two soaps the tomato soap and the egg yolk soap you'll be getting one of these and you'll also be getting one of the egg yolk soup you'll be grating it into your bowl yes. the next thing you'll be getting is your oat powder and your goat milk powder and if you don't want to add preservatives or you don't have preservatives then do not add goat milk powder yes but if you have then you can add the goat milk powder it tends to draw bacteria fast to your products yeah uh, preservatives is not really expensive i would advise you get one so oat helps to remove dead skin cells and act as a natural moisturizer Yes, uh, it contains a uh, beta glucan. Well, this enzyme happens to form a fine film, yeah, a fine covering and protection on the skin. Uh, it also glues the skin very well. It calms and suits a sensitive skin also. Yes, while goat milk powder contains a fantastic lightening properties, especially for sensitive skin. The fats in uh, goat milk. Uh, contains properties that also helps to moisturize the skin and also help combat issues of skin redness yes so you'll be adding 10 grams of a uh, oat powder and 10 grams of your milk powder but if you don't have preservative don't add a uh, goat milk powder yes what you will do is add 20 grams of uh, oat powder yes so the next thing you'll be adding to the bowl is honey yes your honey now honey helps to calm and treat uh, some bones uh, it is also very moisturizing and it also exfoliates the skin in a mild way yes honey contains natural enzymes that removes dead skin cells from the skin uh, if you can get your hands on a manuka honey that would be even better yes so you'll be adding 30 grams of your honey into your bowl the next thing you'll be adding is your rose water yes and uh, rose water helps calm and tones the skin yes of course you guys already know that yes so you'll be needing you'll be adding like 20 ml of your rose water the next thing you'll be adding to make this more effective 
is your BB clear serum. If you don't have BB clear serum, if you don't have BB clear serum, you can alternate with light up serum. These two, either you use this or you use light up. I normally use this or light up and I get the same result. So yes, this BB clear serum uh, whitens the skin in a beautiful way. Yes, it contains a uh, hyaluronic acid. It contains hyaluronic it contains hyaluronic acid and uh, vitamin E uh, uh, organic clarin and it also contains argan oil and the uh, carrot oil. It also, it also contains vitamin C. While light up serum is a very effective serum also. A uh, light up serum contains a uh, collagen, uh, aloe vera, vitamin C and E. Yes. So you'll be adding a bottle of uh, BB clear serum or a bottle of light up serum to your bowl. The next thing you'll be adding is your skin free milk. Of course, you know skin free milk is a very effective whitening oil. Yeah, it is also a treatment oil. It helps to treat a uh, stretch mask, remove dust spots, and it whitens the skin in a beautiful way. So you'll be adding like 20 ml of your skin free milk. Yes. So this will be all you'll be needing for this recipe. So when you are when you, uh, you have done all this that I just said, you use your hand or your spoon to try to incorporate the powders and the liquids you've added together then cover it uh, for like four hours or till the next day me like me i usually leave it for till the next day so after the next day and uh, you use your immersion blender and uh, if you don't have immersion blender then make sure when you are grating your soap you use the tiniest part of your a grater use the, your tiny, the tiniest part of your grater so that the soaps will come out uh, finer yeah it's the the pieces of the soap will be more tiny so that when you add uh, the uh, this serum uh, and the honey it will dissolve quickly so when you've done all that then add five ml of your liquid jama plus preservatives or any preservative of your choice then you just mix and mix and mix and your 4D Molato Esha Whitening Face Soap is ready. So guys, that will be it for today's video. See you on my next. Bye. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake.